This video is about scoring a shootout snooker game without using a keyboard. So basically what happens is that you may have a tablet, a Windows tablet that's running ProScore software and you want to score your games with just the tablet which has no keyboard attached. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it. And um, actually, I, I order a tablet myself, and <coughs> it will arrive tomorrow. So <coughs> I don't have a tablet to um, to show you, but I'll use the mouse in the meantime. So it works the same as a tablet touch screen. So when you enter the scoreboard, make sure you activate the shootout snooker, and you will come to the scoreboard with a uh, shootout clock in the middle. So. Remember, you click the 15-10 and then you start the frame clock by clicking the clock area. And to start the shot clock, you click the green button. So the countdown begins. And you can stop the shot clock anytime by clicking the red button. Then you move on to the next player. Then you start the shot clock again. And then you stop the shot clock. Then you switch to, to the next player. Then you start the shot clock again. And if this player hasn't play the shot for like 15 seconds he will get a foul point so in this case five points will be awarded to player number one so to do that we'll click the points button then we click the F button and this is a five point foul so we'll click the blue ball so five points was awarded to player number one and we'll start the shot clock again and we'll s stop the shot clock anytime he play the shot and if he score a point we'll add one point by clicking the red ball one. then we'll start the shot clock again here and when he finish the shot it's stop and maybe he put a brown ball, so we add four points by clicking the brown ball here. Five. So we start the shot clock again, and when he finish his action, we'll stop the shot clock and we'll switch to player number two. So the game goes on like that. So at some point in time, when one of the player has you know enough pawns to win the frame and the other player concede the frame or or the clock reaches zero you will have a winner so to award one frame to the winner we will click the pawns button again and here we select the W button so we click the W word which is the end of frame and then we'll click the green ball so player one got one frame and that will be the end of match because the shootout snooker games has only one frame to play so now we see that player one is the winner so this is pretty easy to operate and if you have a tablet running windows you can put pro score on your tablet and you can operate the shootout frame clock this way. If you have any questions, send me a message. Thank you.